My name is Jacqueline Huang Nguyen. I'm an artist and I'm also part of the exhibition Living Document Naked Reality Towards an Archival Cinema, curated by Jennifer Burris at the Institute of Contemporary Art in Philadelphia, which will be on display from January 11th to March 4th, 2012. In the exhibition space, I'm showing a photographic diptych entitled The Centennial Star. This work is part of a larger research-based project in which I'm investigating a monument built in the Canadian prairies in 1967. So 1967 is an important landmark in Canadian history because it was the 100th anniversary of the Confederation. Citizens were celebrating with euphoria from coast to coast in many different ways. St. Paul, which was then a small rural town of approximately 3,000 inhabitants in Alberta, was baptized the Centennial Star for the number, originality, and quality of their activities they undertook throughout the year. Their main contribution was the building of the world's first UFO landing pad, which was launched by former Minister of National Defense Paul Hellyer. Although this monument now seems to no longer be part of a collective memory, the UFO landing pad stands today as a tourist attraction. My research project, entitled 1967, A People Kind of Place, comprised field trips to St. Paul, interviews with local residents, and exploring archives throughout the country in an attempt to better understand in what way this site ties in into a larger nationalist spirit due to the context in which it was built. So from the information that I have gathered in interviews with local residents and conversations with experts in ufology, no UFO sightings have ever been recorded in the area of St. Paul. So the platform wasn't so much built in response to a need, but rather local residents explained the construction of this site as a symbolic gesture to welcome aliens, creatures from outer space, and also the rest of the world to Canada, thus promoting an image of hospitality, tolerance, and diversity, which were predominant values in the Canadian liberal politics of the time. So the UFO landing pad is used here in this project as a conceptual vessel for addressing issues around the ideological formation of multiculturalism and its trajectory since its inception, and analyzing the various interpretations of the concept alien, coupling then science fiction to identity politics. This research project is still in progress and takes multiple forms. So I would like to invite you to a performative lecture that I will be giving at the ICA on February 29th at 6.30 p.m., where I will be unpacking some of the ideas that I'm addressing in this project. The event is free and open to the public, so I hope to see you then. Thank you.